thank you so much for watching this video. In this video, I'm gonna make a garland to hang in the background during photo sessions. So I am in my studio right now. I'm a photographer in the Netherlands. Um, I'm in between two cake smash sessions. So I just finished one cake smash session. Uh, explain to all the paper decor still there and uh, in an hour I have another cake smash session. Next show. <laughs> it's like But for now I'm gonna open this box. Um, I'm gonna create my own garland and I'm gonna photograph it with the cake in front of it which I have here for my next session. So the cake is gonna be the model today and I'm gonna put it on my website to show off my new garland as another backdrop that people can choose from. So first I'm going to open this box. Okay, so let me just show you what I got. I got different types. Um, I got this one, very pretty. Uh, I actually have, as you can see, two of them. And then I got this one, which I really like with the purple flowers. And I love the color green because it's not too bright. I've got three of those with the little purple flowers. They're a little bit smaller than I expected, but I think still big enough to make something really pretty. Just gonna organize them together. So here we've got some similar ones. Then I got this one may be cute next to the cake. I can always cut it open and then fold it around the cake stand. Um, here we have another one and a longer one with just some pink flowers. Okay. And a paper bowl. Let's see if there's something inside. The only other tool that I have are scissors and this green tie wire. Uh, I'm not quite sure if the scissors are good for the tie wire, but that's what I have for now. So yeah, let me open this one. This is very pretty. This is actually already kind of like a garland by itself. Um, and yeah, this was the other one. I'm gonna use one as a base. I'm not quite sure which one yet. Uh, now I'm just going to change my backdrop to a white one because I think that's... No, or should I put this creamy one? Creamy? Good work. I'll just leave this one on for now. Um, so yeah, which one am I going to use as a base? I guess the longest one. Yeah, they're all quite similar in length. The one with the pink flowers is a little bit longer. I can always make it longer. Let me see. Let me uncut these. The idea is to hang them a little bit like this and then attach it with the green wire. So this is my garland for now. I think it looks really pretty. Let me just photograph the cake in front of it. Okay, and this is all left over, but I'm still gonna use it, of course. I quite like this one. So I'm just gonna cut it open. I don't think it matters where. So now I can open it and fold it around something. Uh, normally this would not be the type of cake that I would use on this background. Um, but for now, I think it works. I have the name of the girl on the cake and that's fine. So I'm just gonna take some test shots. Um, so yeah, this is how I made my garland. I know that in the US there's a store called Hobby Lobby and we don't have it here in the Netherlands and they have this beautiful like moss garland that I saw uh, with other photographers, they used it. I think it was only like $10 and it's really pretty. I tried to order it from Hobby Lobby, but they don't ship to Europe. Uh, also, we don't have stores that sell, that sell similar moss garlands, so that's why I decided to make one, one my own. 
So it's a little bit different, uh, but I like it because it's one of a kind, it's unique, I made it um, and I think it's really pretty the way it turned out. I'm actually planning on using this backdrop, uh, well actually with a backdrop that's a little bit lighter but with the same garland for my spring mini sessions. So, and then I will advise the parents to dress the kids in very neutral clothes, so creamy white, off-white, creamy colors, <laughs> um, beige, white. And then uh, just very pure and simple, like a spring themed mini session, but with this garland in the back. And I'm gonna use it at least for one case mess session next week or the week after. And then we have this white, kind of like boho themed cake. And the girl's gonna have flowers in her hair and I think like a white simple dress. So I think that's gonna be really pretty. So now I'm just gonna take a photo like this. So for now I have one flash on top of my camera pointing towards the ceiling. It's on the master setting, one flash in my 50 inch West Scott softbox right there. Um, settings will be aperture 3.2 probably, um, ISO 400, 500, something like that, shutter speed 200, uh, one flash will be on 1 slash 64, that's the one pointing towards the ceiling, and the other flash will be on 1 slash 32, that's the one coming from the side from the softbox. So let me photo I personally think the garland should be lower right now it's a very easy DIY like you can see where I put them together so I can always hide them a little bit more put like the leaves in front of it like here you won't even notice anymore so I'm gonna fine-tune it later but this just to show you how I attached it and just to see what I liked So the decor for the cake smash is done. Cake is right here. Okay, so I'm already waiting for the cake smash. And I thought I would just pick out like a little outfit for if the parents are okay with me testing the background with their daughter. Um, so it's like a flower garland and then a little t-shirt. Underneath that t-shirt there's like little shorts. Size 80 from the H&M has buttons in the back. I'm just gonna ask the parents if I can photograph their daughter on this background. Then they'll get those images for free um, and I can use them uh, to promote the spring mini sessions. Yes, I just think it's, I think it's nice for boys too because the, the flowers are not too obvious. Like you have these little purple flowers, but I mean, it's spring, it's spring mini session. Um, so of course I'm gonna try out the background <laughs> with my son as well in the coming days. Um, but yeah, I think it's cute with a little girl. So I'm just seeing if they, are okay with that? So this is my decor for now. So now I have it on the white background. I have just added a piece of this green wire. Yeah, to make them longer, I like to extend it. Yeah, I need to cut off the tag right here. Um, but I like how I can lower it now or make it higher. It's still crooked <laughs> and fix it. Okay, so my husband just dropped off my son who is fishing here in the play area.
back. <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> yeah, so this is a two year old. <laughs> Tuesday and I'm in the studio for a maternity session and the mom is bringing a little daughter so we're gonna first do some shots over there just with the daughter then I'm gonna lift it up I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my garland during a maternity session as well I think it's really pretty with the mom and the daughter in white dresses with like uh, floral crowns in, the, in front of the garland and the white background so I'm gonna try that and then we can always go to the dark gray background for the maternity session the floral background the light gray background many options to choose from uh, but first I'm gonna suggest to the mom to go with that <laughs> leave a comment and then I'll see you in the next video no then I'll see you in the comments and you'll see me in my next video bye bye